Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to Channel OG Games Carcut, and today we're back in the Green Roll Revamp with another update, but this update is actually a secret update. So, he, the owner of the game, didn't actually release this update uh, to the public, or he did release it to the public, he just didn't announce that there was actually an update coming. But, I was driving this Maki around, and I noticed that the lighting was different so it is a lighting update on about four different cars they made the lighting more realistic no actual new cars or map changes or anything like that they just changed the lighting on many of the cars so let me make it nighttime and we'll hop into this thing i don't know why it's still like that but your lighting. You see, you have updated brake lights, which look amazing, along with your running lights, your new updated headlights. The lighting is much more realistic now, and when you hit the brakes, it's more of like an orangey color, versus just like kind of a decal sitting there, like this um, third brake light up here. You also have your sequential turn signals, which look absolutely amazing. Same as in the front, so and on the mirror. So one weird thing with this Mach E, if you turn on the turn signal, you can see it goes from inside to out, inside to out. But if you choose, um, if you put on the hazards, it still goes inside to out. But it actually goes inside in, kind of outside and it's kind of hard to explain but see how it's different this way it goes this way and it goes up and then when you turn the turn signals on it goes out so it kind of comes um, from the inside to the outside but backwards I don't really know how to explain it but it looks pretty good obviously and the only other change was the horn it's not as much of kind of a wimpy, super high-pitched horn anymore, and on it, and the um, reverse light is still the same, so that looks, that's pretty good. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of this Mach-E in real life either. I don't think it should have been named, should have had, um, gotten the Mustang title though. I really don't. But, Let's take a look at the next car. So the next updated car was the 2020 Kia Telluride. So this thing was probably, a, it still isn't an amazing car because of the amount of body roll in an SUV like this, but it's okay. You're lighting, you have updated headlights, which look amazing. You still have your orange or amber running lights, whatever you want to call it. And you now have super realistic running lights in the back, except for decals, like I said, like um, this third brake light. And turn signals in the front when the lights are off, you can see they look like that, along with your mirror turn signals and turn signals in the back. This is with the running lights on, it turns to like an orange color. And it just get the orange, the or the orange or the amber, whatever color you want to call it, in the front here, just gets brighter around the headlight housing, and you still have your mirror turn signal. When you turn on the brake lights, ah, I should probably turn on the turn signals. It is still like an orangey color, and then if you turn on the running lights and the brake lights, it's even more orange. So that is the second car, and I do. Um, it's kind of gaining on me a little bit, the car, but I still wish he would fix the, um, the body roll on the thing. Next car is the 2019 Lamborghini Urus, and I have done a single car, a green bull car views on this thing. If you guys want to go check that out, you can see what the old lighting looks like. I will link that video down in the description, but this is what the new lighting look like looks like instead of just decals. So here are your headlights and you do still have um, the beams like every car. You can see the lighting, the headlights are on point along with the um, reflector, the DOT required reflector that's on every car in America and it's super annoying. 
but your turn signals you can see they're um, directly on that Y shape which looks pretty good so again just a decal on this DOT reflector you also have mirror turn signals and turn signals in the back look amazing I can't even imagine if you're driving behind this thing on the road and you see it just switch lines like that I think that looks so good or if it braked this is what the brake lights look like again super super realistic and your running lights. When you press the brake lights, they turn orange like every car so far. And this is with the turn signals. If I turn off the headlights, hit the brakes, and turn the turn signals on, the turn signals do take the place of the brake lights. And then if I turn them off, you have no brake lights. So I like tricking people with that, stopping at a stoplight and turning on. Um, turning on one turn signal super fast and then turning it off so it only seems like I have one turn, one brake light working. Now this thing sounds like they changed the horn, but not much else has really changed. Everything else, the handling, everything is still amazing. And this, it put a little bit, um, I lost a little bit of money on this car. I was under a million. I have all sorts of views back you guys. I was originally under a million, now I'm even lower under a million. Our final car is the 2019 Chevy Silverado 1500, and I will say this thing kind of disappointed me a little bit. Here are your new headlights. They look pretty good, again, like I said, you still have your beams, and you have the running lights in the back, which are super realistic. I like the way these turns, um, the back of this Silverado actually looks though at night, the lights on. You have your new turn signals in the front which look amazing along with mirror turn signals but the most disappointing thing is in the back where they're still using the same decals as from Greenville V3 before the revamp. Same with the brake lights, uh, you still have the decals at the top. It's, it's not cool. Uh, I, I think he could have done the entire car lighting instead of just leaving the cheap decals. I would drive this thing, and I do really like these Silverados in the game, if the lighting was more realistic. So I don't think um, I'm gonna keep this Silverado just because I'm still a little bit disappointed with the lighting, or disappointed with the lighting. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did smash the like button, please consider subscribing. It was just a small little update that not many people know about, but if you drive one of those four cars, you definitely notice that they revamped the lighting and updated everything, most of the horns. So everything now uh, looks much better, and it makes the game much more realistic. Again, with that said, though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did smash the button, please consider subscribing. Go join the Discord server, Rams Kirk fan server, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.